Okay, this one um, is to do with convergence. It, it involves working with R. It's not exactly a sum to infinity, but I class it together with those because it's asking for the same kind of thinking. Okay, so if they say given the geometric series that, oh, I should have put that, okay. Um, given that situation and it's convergent, find x. Okay, now if we know that it's geometric series, we know the ratios are the same, okay. But it's convergent, so we know that the ratio, whatever it is, is between negative 1 and 2. One. So I'm going to set that up straight away. I'm going to say convergent gives me negative 1 and then r and 1. So now I need to just get r. I'm just going to take this one over that one. So it's going to be x squared over 5x. Let's simplify that a little bit. So that'll cancel with this one. I'm going to have x over 5. Okay. What I know about x over 5 now is it is between negative 1 and and 1. So I can do that, okay? So I'm going to say the, the ratio is between negative 1 and 1. To get x by itself, I'm going to multiply by 5. So clearly, when I do that, I end up with x being between negative 5 and 5. A lot of us are uncomfortable with this type of answer because you're like, you want the value of x, and it does say find x. Well, x is on a number line. x is anything between negative 5 and 5, not including negative 5 or 5. And that's the answer, but I'm, I'm dealing with a convergent thing. So what we could now do is there could be a separate question, which I'll do next, that we want the sum um, if x equals 2. Okay, sum to infinity um, is a over 1 minus r. Um, my r, remember, was x over 5. So x over 5 will now be 2 over 5 because they've given us, this was the second part of the question, so you wouldn't be allowed to use it in the first part, just saying, same as geometry type questions. Um, so now I know that this is my R, okay. So my sum to infinity is A. Hmm. Don't know what A is. But I do have something, I've got 5X. So A, A is going to be 10. Because it's going to be 5 times 2. So I do have it. Okay, so 10 over 1 minus 2 fifths. Right? So that is 10 over 3 fifths. I'm just going to pop that into calculate and I'm going to get 50 over 3.